All right, so today we're gonna take a look at step-by-step uh, -step instructions for creating a tour. Um, I'm gonna jump in midway by adding to a tour that I already have, and this is a tour of Harold's Travels. But before you get started, you're definitely gonna have to make sure uh, that you have Google Earth installed on your computer, so you need to go to the website and download that. And you also have, a, have, you also have to have a really good idea of what it is you're gonna make a tour of. So you need some familiarity with the places and the place names. For me especially, some of these um, places have very modern names, so there is a certain amount of research that I did have to do in order to make sure that I knew exactly where I was going. Um, but first things first, as you can see down over here in the left hand um, sidebar, um, I have a folder that says Harold's Travels, and basically what I've filled that folder with are a bunch of places and place marks. So one of the things you want to do to get started is make sure you add a folder and you can do that by going up to the menu, uh, selecting add and then selecting folder. And then within each of those folder, uh, and, and then within each of the folder options you can set place marks. In order to set place marks though you have to go into the search bar and type in the location that you want to go to. And it's pretty straightforward, for example you can just type in London and hit enter and Google Earth will take you directly to London. Right, uh, London is one of the stops on my travels, but what I thought I would do is show you guys how to add because there are some details that you can go through in order to make your your tour a little bit seamless um, and a little bit more, I guess, entertaining. So one of the stops on my tour is Mont Saint Michel, uh, which is in France, and we're just going to go there really quickly um, because it's a really nice location, and I want to show you that. I want to show you what it looks like first of all. All right, and here we can see that my tour needs one more thing added to it because one of the most important things about these simulations especially in Google Earth is that very many places have three-dimensional uh renderings of these of of these locations. So I'm just going to go down to the bar here and I'm going to click on 3D buildings. And as you can see, a 3D, uh, a three-dimensional image of Mont Saint Michel pops up. But on this stop on my tour, it's the only angle that I have of Mont Saint Michel. And um, for my purposes in teaching, I want the students to have an idea of where Mont Saint Michel is, and it really is um, in an area where there is a lot of sand. It's where the ocean meets the land, basically, and it's known for being inaccessible when the tide is in. Um, so what I wanted to do is basically add another stop on the tour that views Mont Saint Michel from a totally different angle. So with this stop here, what I'm going to do is copy it. I could do that off of the keyboard using um, uh, command C but I could just as easily do it up here under edit so with it with it being selected I'm gonna go to edit <clears throat> I'm gonna click copy and then I'm gonna go back to edit and I'm gonna click paste and you'll see for example down there I now have two Mont Saint Michel and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the second option and this is one of the most important parts of making your tour seamless basically I'm going to go into oh, I totally forget where it is uh, get info under edit and we're going to open up the information that has defined that place mark and you see we have latitude longitude description style view um, very important note you can change the look of your place mark icon depending on what your purposes are you know you can have them numbered or lettered or specific icons. I prefer the little curvy arrow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view and if you take a look here you notice that we have orientation information. Right? Our range is basically how what the elevation is. Our heading is um, the degrees on on the globe and the tilt is the angle that we're looking at the at the place from. So what I wanted to do is I've got a shot that's looking at Mont Saint Michel that's going out to the English Channel. I would like a shot of Mont Saint Michel so that students can see it inland as well. So I'm just gonna tinker a little bit because I'm not a professional geographer. I don't know what all the all of the headings are. I know for a fact though that zero is due north. So entering zero does reorient me so that everything is facing north. 
Um, as you notice, once I hit enter, it, the, the edit option totally disappears. Um, so one of the things that I tend to do, right, I'm going to go right back into this option. Let's see what's going on here. So edit, mont semi shell, edit, get info, view, I'm at zero degrees, and I'm going to play around with it, but I'm not going to hit enter. I'm going to see which, which angle is going to work best for me. So I'm going to try maybe the opposite of 360, 180, and that gives me the road and, and the waterway that leads straight out towards Mont Saint-Michel, which is a pretty good vantage point. Um, I might toy around with the idea of coming out a little bit and see what that looks like. As you can see, I did hit enter again, and that and that seems ideal and appropriate. And what happens is that you can see that those nuances gives you a lot of um, gives you a lot of play in Google Earth. So what I'll do is I'll go back th uh, two steps: the English Channel, then Mont Saint Michel, to give you an idea of why playing with those um, aspects of one pl one place mark can affect your affect your your tour. So here we are starting off at the English Channel, right, towards England, and then going straight on to Mont Saint-Michel, right, Google Earth takes us in, and then our second location spins us around, and then we can from here go on to our next location in the tour, which is Dole de Bretagne. And basically what you do is that once you have all your place marks set up and you've angled the view in Google Earth on your place marks to the degree that you want it and you've highlighted certain things, you can play this, right? Down here, you basically you go back up to your folder, you click on it as a folder and you'll notice that there's a little play icon that follows and you can literally and simply just click on play tour right and it will start from the very beginning mine starts starts off in England so I highlight England um, and then I go into uh, Bosham Church um, then the English Channel because it's the main crossing and of course again these are all angles that I've pre-selected um, for my place marks so in addition to doing simple flyovers where you can just have the view going over a place or a location, um, you can specify what angles you want in Google Earth. And I hope that helps.